another little Grand Branch AI work in progress. I'm uh, just doing some chores right now, so I thought I'd show you a quick video. Um, so this scenario is one of my test scenarios for a bunch of different things for the AI. And this particular one is the setup for... Oop, my PC just took a bit of a tumble. Um, this is testing pathfinding stuff. Um, so you'll see here there's a couple of different entities doing the paths. There's this one which is an Unreal Engine default one, which actually kind of displays the path for you. So it calculates the path and shows it. Um, but that doesn't run at runtime, obviously. So let's just uh, grab this guy. He's the one we can actually select to. He's the one that's actually going to do the pathfinding for this. So the important bit to watch is the upper left hand of the screen and that's the um, the display that I've got for debugging um, information about navigation traversal. So one of the things that you get is changing nav poly. That's every time it crosses one of these triangle edges. So here you've seen that it's got a default navigation area class. Um, eventually I'll make that a door or a navigation area class. But uh, you can see what I'm doing right now is that I'm making... Um, when he gets on these ladder parts, I'm just making it teleport to the other end right now because we haven't got the animations for it. But at some point, when we've got the animations to actually get on the ladder, uh, I'll just run that again so you can see. Have a look at the top left. It'll say um, navigation area class, something like that. And the navigation area class should be, I can't remember what I called it, ladder, something like that. So doors are currently set to default. Let's see what this one calls it. So I can't remember. Nav area ladder. So it, what it means is that now that I can do that, I can actually tell what kind of traversal edge is being shown in the navigation. So if we go back to that, you can see that this this is the target for that other car other um, path. The path goes through the different links, and one of the links here is this segment here. Now that's marked as a navigation area ladder. So that means that as it's traversing the path, it can tell what type of path it's doing the traversal for, which is kind of useful because then you can do things like different animation states and those kind of things. Um, so what I'll probably do is, as it gets to the start point of that navigation link, I'll actually switch off the normal pathfinding code and do a bunch of essentially kind of grab ladder animation walk up ladder animation to the top and get off ladder animation and then switch it back on once it's got to the top um it depends on how we want to handle the situation where you're shooting an ai on the ladder and those kind of things but the same thing in reverse on the other side but that means that for different types of traversal imagine this is a window we could have a, a window in the wall here and have a navigation link that goes through that by jumping it and have a area class each of these area classes has a traversal value so you can actually have like preferences depending on the types of ai for what type of traversal it prefers so some ai could prefer diving headfirst through a plate glass window others could prefer climbing up ladders or you know using parachutes about well, maybe not parachutes using um i don't know what are the kind of well anyway traversal types so, um, yeah, trying to figure out all of this stuff and how it works and debug it and sort of trace through the source code is really the time that it's taking for a lot of this stuff because it's not hard particularly. It's just hard because none of it's documented. And to be honest, some of the default use cases seem to be, like, not working. So I've had to fix up a couple of different things or at least figure out why they weren't working because I hadn't provided some information or whatever. 
Um, so there you go. A little bit of work I've been doing. This wasn't recently, it was a couple of weeks ago, but it's still coming along. There's a lot of different use cases, corner cases we call them in AI, for where this kind of thing breaks down. Though. For instance, if you're on a ladder, okay, so you can sort of check the traversal edge to say, yeah, I want to be using this ladder. But what happens if somebody's are on, already on the ladder? Um, should this ladder, should you basically form a queue until the ladder's free? Should you try and barge past the guy on the ladder? Should you just ignore the guy in the ladder and hope it's empty? That kind of thing. So there's lots of little stupid use cases for these things. Um, what happens if a door's already got somebody in the doorway? You know, those kind of little um, silly little use cases that actually stack up in terms of edge case that you have to account for when you're doing your AI code. So anyway, hopefully that's given you some insight and um, I'll see you on the next update.